What's up guys, this is Matthew from Metabase and I wanted to show you my five favorite features in version 51. The first is our new time grouping parameter. Here we have a line chart over time by month, but maybe we want to change that time grouping so we can come up here to the parameter and let's look at it by week. Maybe we want to look at it by day, we can do that. Let me show you how you can add this functionality to your dashboard. We'll come up here to edit dashboard and then we'll hover over add a filter or parameter and we'll click on time grouping. You select the date to connect to and you go ahead and click done and you're ready to go. My second favorite feature is our sunburst chart. Here we have our awesome new sunburst chart and you can go up to three rings deep on this. Let me show you how you can build it. If I come up here to show editor, for demonstration purposes, I'll remove employee name and hit visualize. So this is our typical pie chart. If I come here to show editor, now you just need to add to this group by. So if I come in here and I add employee name and I hit visualize, we get that second ring, super cool. And again, we can go up to three rings deep. If I come over here to settings, it's easy to drag and drop any of these, change the colors, and then on the display, we also have different toggles that you can check out. My third favorite feature is the updates to our legends. Here, I'm looking at multiple products over time, and maybe I just want to focus on gadget. Well, I can just come up here to the legend and I can uncheck the others, and now I'm just focused on gadget. Maybe I want to add doohickey, give that a click, or well, maybe we'll add them all back. This is super cool feature and works out of the box, no configuration necessary. My fourth favorite feature is contextual tooltips. Here I have a line chart and I have tooltips and I've added some more context to that tooltip so you can see I added a min and a max. So how can we do that? I'm going to come up here to show editor and you can see in the summarize view I added a min of total and a max of total. We go ahead and visualize that and then inside the settings if you go to display here we have this additional tooltip metrics. You can add the additional metrics here and see them on the chart. My fifth favorite feature is adding iframes to dashboards. Here I have a dashboard and I drop the iframe into it. Right now it's just pointing out a YouTube video, what's new in Metabase 51, but you can do all kinds of things. So think maybe documentation or maybe you want to have a Loom video explaining the dashboard to give additional context. Maybe you want to drop a Grafana chart in there. Possibilities are endless. Let me show you how you can do it. You can come up here to edit dashboard, add a link or iframe, we'll click iframe, then you just paste in the iframe source, hit done, and you're ready to rock and roll. As you can see, there's lots of cool features in V51. Let me know your favorites below. Cheers!